Good afternoon. Just wanted to mention that uh, Sergeant Lamb will be joining us shortly. Um, Sergeant Lamb is the district manager in terms of the New Haven Police Department here in New Haven. There are 30 wards and 10 district managers from the police department are assigned to uh, the 30 wards. So he represents three wards in Ward 28 being one. And it's really an opportunity to, to chat with him um, in terms of public safety, public responsibility, just really re reconfirming the fact that we all are on the same team. And although all of us don't have uh, arrest power, uh, certainly we have eyes and ears and communication power. So whether you are listening to this in New Haven or in Ward, or live in Ward 28 or anywhere on the planet, police, public safety, public responsibility, uh, life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness, all these things cannot happen unless we, I won't say work together, but just uh, uh, invest our energies in a strategic fashion together. And it doesn't have to be work, it can be joy. I mean, people think about block watches being like you're spying on people. I would say block watches are just expressing care. Uh, these are calamitous times where anything can happen in terms of accidents or fires or uh, you name it, not necessarily just catching people from for uh, doing bad things. So whether it's a block watch or a block love, let's let's kind of decide how we can kind of protect one another, help one another, and and actually, and I'll use the term serve one another. As as you can probably as you probably know, there's a, been a rash, it, some might say a pandemic, of, uh, of 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 thefts of car thefts, window smashings, tires being. Uh, removed from cars, not to mention car jackings, not to mention uh, the, the catalytic convert, converter situation. So um, wherever we look, there's need for us to kind of be your brother's keeper, your sister's keeper, your, and not that you're, you're keeping in terms of possessing, but just uh, the implementing the golden and platinum rule. Let's kind of do, do unto others as you would like to do, do unto yourself. So uh, Sergeant Lamb is here with us, and we're going to just kind of jump jump right in for f 15 or so minutes. Sergeant Lamb. Hello, Alder. How are you? Good. Good to see you. My, my, my wife calls me Alder sometimes, but when she when she calls me Alder, I know I got to I got to ask her how high do you want me to jump. Oh, I, I, I know there's something behind that, behind that. And then she says, and you, and you are our alder, aren't you? So, I, but I won't go there. And I'm sure you, you, you get that from your, your, your family members too. Uh, That's my uh, wife. My wife uses my full name. So, see, uh, and you know, something's cooking, you know, something's cooking there. And and we husbands, I mean, obviously this is not the reason for us to, for us to chat. I'm just glad you had a moment, but we husbands got to understand that, that the honeydew mantra is uh, there, there's reasons. So, I tell everyone I'm I'm my wife's employee. So you, you work for them and you're and and, and you're on a, and you're on you're on a, a constant probationary contract. It's not like a one year contract. It's constant probation. Correct. Constant. And and husbands don't understand, man, that that's uh, the Adam and Eve situation. We got to understand. Sometimes you gotta you gotta go with the flow. Uh, but 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 I, but I, I well, I've been married uh, several decades. How, how long have you been married? Five years. Five years. Good. Good for you. Good for Thank you. you. Uh, ain't little people? Not yet. Not yet. All Not right. Yet. All right. That's in that's in the works. Yeah, we. My wife Julie and I we're we're, we're great grandparents. So so uh, there's a, there's a lot in the works. In fact, we got one more coming. Come, come to think of it, in in October, in terms of the blessing. great great grandberry thing. Did you have like 10, 15 minutes? I mean, just the fact that you can spend the time on a new one. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, uh, I was just giving some intro comments that. Um, we're all basically. I'm trying to communicate to folks that we are all on the same team. That that Absolutely. everyone everyone doesn't have a rest power, but we all could have something we can do in terms of our time, our investment, our connections. Our uh, yeah, I was mentioning the fact that even people have this term block watch. I would say just just block love. You know, just yep. be on just be, just be on the lookout for folks. Uh, exactly, and not just to arrest people, but just uh. You know, calamities, fires, anything. You saw the fight. We had a fire in Dixwell the other day, and fire in the 
in our ward of a few weeks ago. Uh, but but anyways, um, how, how do, what would you like to say to folks about what we can do in terms of a collective public responsibility standpoint? Because people obviously are frustrated, but the, it, the, the human condition, you get frustrated, right? Uh, Correct. Yeah, but you've um, been on the force 15 years, right? I think. Uh, 13. They're 13, yes. Yep. Um, I mean, it's it's a collective effort. Um, general things, general rules of thumb, don't leave valuables in the in vehicles. Um, don't leave things that would attract um, someone to want to break into a vehicle. Not all cases are that, but in most cases, in our car break-ins, they're finding tools or purses or items of value. Um, and then in extreme cases, they're finding unsecured firearms. Mm. So that's actually more common than people think. We've, mm. I like, I'd say once or once a month or once every other month, someone has their firearm stolen mm. from their from their vehicle, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. is obviously not a place that you should store a firearm. But sometimes people forget. Sometimes people, you know, oh, it's in the car, but I'll run back out later and grab it, and they forget, and then they go to bed, and then. Now there's a stolen right. firearm there. Let's let, let's stay on the, the, the car theft situation. Uh, and I guess with the, the Kia boy kind of phenomenon a year ago, two years ago that came in. It's still ongoing. And, and the fact is now that it's still ongoing. And before we had this name for it, this commercialized name for it, uh, yeah. there still were these these issues. Should folks buy more anti-theft stuff? I know down on the street on here on Bellevue, <laughs> the, some tires were taken and. So I suggest wheel locks for right now. So there's a couple of trends we're seeing. We're mm -hmm. seeing trends that uh, they're, it's an old trend, but they're, they're taking Honda and Acura wheels and tires. Hmm. That, that used to happen years ago, then it stopped for a while. Now we're actually seeing a trend again of it's specifically Hondas and Acuras. Um, their parts are interchangeable. I mean, Acura is a subsidiary of Honda. Mm -hmm. um, so we're seeing that a lot. They're leaving they're leaving the vehicles on blocks. Yes. Mainly, and it's mainly Hondas. As in terms of auto thefts, it's still predominantly Kias and Hyundai's. So just for our general area and for the city, I prior my predecessor, uh, Lieutenant Przbilski, he mm -hmm. was able to reach out to a rep at Hyundai and secure vehicle wheel locks um, that he distributed throughout the city. I was able to reach out to his same contact and I have, I think it's a hundred wheel locks coming in the next two weeks that I can distribute to the residents. And should folks come to, what's the best way of dissemination? Should they come to the so substation? I have it going to the police department. I have to figure out where I can store it within the police department. I'll have some in my office. So my, so I, I'm kind of split. I have two districts. Mm. So I have um, the Beaver Hills district and I also have the Dwight Kensington chapel. So my, I'm, I try to split my time between both just so mm -hmm. just like right now I'm in the Whaley Ave office, but um, my, my main office that I, I work out of predominantly is the Edgewood Ave office, but people can just shoot me an email, um, a text mm. and I can acquire it. And you 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 include so yes. Let me know when they're available. And yeah. is that the steering wheel locks or the or the wheel locks? The steering wheel locks. So the steering wheel locks. Yes, I, yes. yeah, I know that was popular. And then, but now some people are saying there are there something some locks you can buy for your tires also. Or yes, your... yes, you can buy wheel locks. Um, I don't have a contact for like a Honda manufacturer yet. I can try to reach out to them and see if I can acquire one. But in turn, in, in the interim, people can purchase wheel locks for their for their vehicles. And and again, we've just met, and I want to stay on your good side because you're you're, you're authorized to <laughs> to do to, to exert. I'm just making a, making a bad joke, but when when a, when a resident says, "Why can't you guys capture these guys?" Your answer is, or girls, and your your answer is, so one the this the the sheer time. A lot of these crimes, we've when we get video, um, these crimes are taking less than a minute. Yeah. Um, it's a lot of them are crimes of opportunity. They break a window, they're in and out of the vehicle within, I think the fastest we've seen is like 35 seconds. Um, they're not, there's really no strategic plan behind what they're, what they're looking for. They just think that there may be valuables in it. And we do actually make arrests quite often, especially of, uh, juveniles and stolen vehicles. 
but the problem is with with the court system and you know the 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 ju ju judicial system um it's a summonsable offense so they're arrested if they're under 18 they're taken to the police department they're photographed fingerprinted they get a summons and they're released right back to their parents within a couple hours mm -hmm. so we uh officer dragoy he's real big he's real proactive out in the area he made an arrest last week of four juveniles in a stolen car and then the next day he was working overtime uh, over by uh, Osborne and the same kid he arrested the night the day before drove by him in another stolen car. Let's let's and again you're not, you're not a social worker and I don't want to impose that that on you and we we know again we know that wives can give us five thousand jobs but what we're talking about you're, you're talking about your day, your day, day job now. Uh, what what do you want to say to the community and and I don't want you to feel you got to pick on youth services or YMCA or why or parenting. But what, what do you want what what do you want to say to the community about uh if you have a loved one, if you have a uh, someone in your, your your sphere of influence that's under 18? I so what I can only speak from experience what worked for me. Um right. you know, I, I grew up with a, a single mom. She threw everything at me. She tried to throw as many activities at me that I would enjoy and keep me busy. Um, I did everything from gymnastics to horseback riding to football <laughs> to, I don't know. to to baseball. To, I did I did everything, and uh -huh. um, so that was that was her plan with me. She she tried to keep me active. She tried to keep me busy, keep me involved. She was involved in you know the th what's going on. She wanted to you know meet the people I was associated with. She wanted mm -hmm. to you know meet their parents. Yes. Um, but you know, not everyone is as fortunate to have that type of relationship. Yeah, yeah. So, did you grow up in New Haven? So I'm originally from New Haven. I did elementary school at uh, Edgewood for a little bit, and then we we moved to North Haven. But it was just me and my mom. My mom was a juvenile probation officer on Whaley Avenue. Um, we still own my family still owns the house right on Ellagrassa Boulevard, right at Whaley and Ellagrassa Boulevard. That's the original house I lived in. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm very much tied into the community. And tremendous, tremendous, tremendous. Uh, when you see some of your, and you got to bear with my, my my methodology, there's no, I don't have any script, just as it's questions come, come, come to me. But when you see some of your friends that you might have grown up with that have either been incarcerated or you can tell that they're not doing too well now, what what does what does that say to you about about life life and decisions and journeys and I'm sure you see people again that that you say oh no or you may even even have arrested good friends that you played with so you're just curious of how that kind of works on your mind and how you see society. So, uh, a veteran officer always says to me he's still he's still on the job but he always says your life is a collection of seasons hmm. so you're you're never defined by one season. Mm -hmm. you're, but you're always ever changing. Mm. So what you used to be may not be who you are now, positively or negatively. Mm -hmm. So I was going, I was going to, you know, thinking about life in that, in that form. Hmm. I like that. I like that. I like that. Uh, interesting. Did, was there, this is kind of an, a, an off, offbeat question. Is there a competition to become a district manager? Is this good to be on your portfolio? Something that you, you're pleased about where did, uh, did, 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 did the chief say, John, John, I need you. And, and you know, you have no choice about it. Did, did, tell us about it. No, the there was, so the, so the, uh, the background was, so I was a, a, a Westville cop for most of my career. Mm -hmm. um, it was on midnight. Um, then I got promoted to Sergeant. I still covered this side of the city. The city is divided into 10 districts, mm -hmm. um, five on one side, five on the other side. Um, the west side of the city is com comprised of Hill North, Hill South, Dwight Kensington Chapel, Beaver Hills, and Westville. Mm -hmm. So I was typically the the night supervisor for Hill South, Hill North, um, Dwight Kensington Chapel, Westville, and um Beaver Hills. So I'm familiar with the district. Um, when there was a shortage, we couldn't we couldn't fill all the district manager positions. Um, initially, I was going to go to the Westville district, but then the chief approached me and asked if I'd be interested in the district manager position for 
Dwight Kensington Chapel as well as Beaver Hills. I said mm -hmm. absolutely. Um, it's a, it's a change. It's different. Um, it's it's good for your 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 career growth, your personal growth. Mm -hmm. It's good. To, it's good to do different things. It's good to try new things. Um, for me, I spent the last eleven years on midnight shift mm -hmm. by choice. Mm -hmm. um, so that in itself is different. I'm, yeah, I'm sure. During sure. the day now, sure. Yeah. Um, my wife is a little happier, so she, <laughs> so she works during the day. She's also a police officer in the city as well. Oh, that's something. So she's uh, she has a different role though. So she's a uh, school resource officer. Okay. So she's Excellent. at uh, she's uh, at Wilbur Cross. So Wilbur she, Cross. Yep. Excellent, excellent. I, I know Nan Nancy was over at Hill House before she before she she she, she left and. And driven. So is it, is it, this is really not the right way to say it. Is it, is it, is it exciting or is it challenging or is it, is it something that you wanted to do? I mean, is it, is it fulfilling to some degree? It's fulfilling. I'm, I'm still getting my feet wet. So I'm learning, okay. new, still learning the nuances of it. Um, but it's different and different is different is good sometimes. Yeah. And I really appreciate the, the summaries that, that you've continued to send, to, to, to send to me, uh, yeah, I try to keep every I try to keep everyone up to date, up to speed, involved. I think my my sense is that the more folks know, you know, from the transparency standpoint, uh, the, the 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 better. And uh, just to shift for a second in terms of the, and I don't want to put words in your mouth, and that's why it's so good to kind of chat with you now, and obviously we'll chat in the future. But some of these, going back to the the car thefts, are really they're they're tough to to apprehend, as you're saying. So what, what, from a psychological standpoint, what would be your, and that's obviously you sense that's why I want, really need to, needed to reach out to you given the calls that I've been receiving, <laughs> to say the least. From a, from a mental psychological citizen standpoint, what do you what do you want to say to folks in this regard uh, so that they won't? I mean, what do you want to say? I, I, I've, I've dialogued with, a, uh, with all my alders. I mean, we're, as a department, we're, we're doing based on our staffing and obviously it's not a secret, you know, we have, we're trying to negotiate a contract. It's hard to recruit and retain in the city. Um, we're trying to do the best we can with the resources we have. Um, like I said, I'm doing my part. I've reached out, try to try to get the wheel locks. Um, I have overtime beats that are for the area to help patrol. I worked the overnight shift on Tuesday night into Wednesday. I was up and down the district. I'm sure, I'm sure people saw me cause I had shining my lights and probably everyone's oh, Yeah, up. great. Um, so that's, that's, that's one of the things I'm, you know, trying to do. And there's some other things that, you know, some other resources that, you know, working in the background that we're trying to implement as well. Excellent, excellent, and, and obviously you'll, you'll you'll keep us informed. The, the absolutely. police athletic league, or you actually don't need the league. It's police athletic activities. I think now. Yes, I'm actually I'm, I'm actually kind of involved in that. I do the uh, I do the football, the flag football aspect of it. I, I was a former college uh, athlete. I played football in college, so I played right at uh, Southern Connecticut. So, mm -hmm. I so tell, us a little, tell us a little bit about that, because because the Chiefs been admittedly in my mind. Uh, proponent and proud of the, the the enhanced growth of the police activity police athletic activities so i i would be remiss if i took any credit for it sergeant ferrante has been hugely instrumental in mm. expanding the uh the program they they have jujitsu they have flag football we have a, a fall league for flag football that travels to waterbury yeah is in their league we have basketball we have girls only specific basketball yeah. um we just started soccer um mm -hmm. there's mm -hmm. boxing there's mm -hmm. a there's a multitude there and then every so often officer borisova will do a baking class so, <laughs> and then every other friday it started last friday so there there won't be one this week but the following this following friday there will be they do a friday night lights event where they invite uh any use to come to the field house and they have a DJ yes. that basketball. So I actually worked that last Friday. Um, right. We both worked that event and it was, we had a good, great turnout. There's about 700 kids that showed up to that. I, I saw that and I'm blessed here in Ward 28 to have the, you know, the field house and yeah. Bowen field that they're all in. So, and I was so excited to see that. Will that, what's your sense of, will that continue just for the summer or into the fall or? Any that will, that at least continue through the summer. And then I, I know, Last year, we, 
they 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 did a couple of pop up ones. Um, mm -hmm. But I don't know if that's I'm not I'm in charge of the planning for yeah the term for that. But I whatever I can do to help out with that, I participate in. It's a good it's a good program. Keep us posted there because yeah, I was so excited to see that with the field house is so popular and as, as you know, people from outside Connecticut from from yes. Massachusetts from New York come to use it. So we might as well if, if they find it useful, the, we might well might as well take advantage. Absolutely. Of it. Absolutely. <laughs> what what position did you play at Southern? I was a uh center and a guard. Center and guard, yeah, yeah. So, so you, you got down there in the in, in the nitty gritty. Yeah, yeah, we uh <laughs> <laughs> Bump, bumped into a lot of people. <laughs> Did the coach ever want to move you to another position, or that you really like the lineman was something something you really liked? Um, no, lineman was pretty much when I went. So I thought I was going to go play defensive line when I went there, and then I got mm -hmm. moved to offense. So, but uh, you know, it was one of those things where whatever I could do to help the team win, I was good, good, so. good, 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 good for you, good for you, good for you. Any questions for me as Alder? I mean, you know, what, what's good for the goose is good for the gander, man. No, I'm, you're 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 on top of it. You're you, you know, you reach out, like you you set this up. Um, you're very responsive. Um, so I just look forward to having a good working relationship. Excellent, 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 excellent. Uh, I, th I think I think that's it. You know, just generally the the the, the youth issue and, and and people that call out of frustration. Yes, their property is being, but also I can sense in their heart that why is what what's going on with our youth. So yeah. I, I just try to I know Gwen's doing and 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 Ron and other, other folks. It, and we're cognizant of the fact that like people work hard for their stuff. I work hard for my things. So you you want it to be there when you get when you get back. Right. You want it to be in the same condition. Like that's that that's not unreasonable. Um, and so it is frustrating. Um, this is I wish it, I, I I wish this this was a small issue. This is actually you know a multi town multi this is all over the state of Connecticut issue nationwide. Um, yeah, yeah. As long, along with a multitude of it, issues like dirt bikes and quads and things of that nature, um, and it's plaguing it's plaguing everybody. Unfortunately, let's take let's uh, take a do you have five or so more minutes? Absolutely. And, and I know, and I don't mean to be sarcastic or judgmental, but when you become a in your in your line of work, it gets, gets my sense that there's a certain, and I say this in, in admiration and as a compliment, there's a certain sobriety of your of for how you want to come across. Let, yes. let me let me let me try and and that's the public needs that that even if the even if the fire is burning, you're going to decide you're not going to freak out, <laughs> but you're yeah. going to call the command. You're going to what what does the command structure say to deal with this? The uh, the situation you had the the street 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 takeovers. Yes, is that another example of where I won't say the opposition, the opposition team, but they're so they're large fires, small fires. These are these eruptions of of civic discontent that I know must be really just kind of whacking you guys and back back yeah. and back and yeah. forth. And and you have to evaluate it from. A bunch of different lenses so like you have a street takeover per se now if you don't know ahead of time that this is going to happen you have your resources that you know we still have to serve the citizens of the city we still have to you know answer calls for service right so it's hard to allocate majority of your resources to deal with this issue when the detriment would be to the citizens who who need to contact the police mm -hmm. for their normal day-to-day -day items so it, it's a it's a it's a balancing act so to speak for sure i mean and even just use that example while that street takeover took over your call center was getting calls about someone being raped or murdered or shot or blah 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 yes. or, i mean this gets, gets back to your sobriety or or just uh mm -hmm. my, my 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 dog got killed or my husband got killed or my cat is up the tree or somebody's at at the tree trying to hang themselves. So we as a citizens, I think, are not as aware of the, the, the I mean, we, we watch it on TV, but we yeah. don't want to believe that it's happening every day in our community. So uh uh in terms of number of police for the police, when you're if in your magic wand, do we need another in the perfect world, another hundred folks? Another I, I mean, folks? just just numbers wise, we're probably Boots on the ground, 80, 80 officers short. 80 short. 
And that's that's not including, you know, people who can potentially retire, um, people who are out injured, um, mm -hmm. you know, people who are thinking about going on to another department or or leaving. Mm -hmm. And that that number is fluid. It always it's always moving. So right. 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 My my next door neighbor uh uh is joining one of the forces uh I think in Manchester. So what do you want to say to to, to a young person about the a career in this regard. I had a chance to meet one of your recruiters and and uh, Gary Tenney for the you know the the fire firebirds. Um, the, the, the protective services in my mind might be needed like never before for the future. I got to yes. tell you, man. Well, it's it, it, it's a different time period. You're not there's not as much general interest in, in the in the career of law enforcement right now. Um, you that coupled with you know higher pay for what's perceived as less dangerous work in other like smaller towns um, is, is something we have to combat to try to keep, you know, officers here, especially homegrown officers. Um, mm -hmm. And the, the push to diversify departments too. So mm -hmm. that, that actually is a big pull for like city residents. There's a lot of city mm -hmm. residents who, who, who would like to stay on, serve their communities, or get on, but other departments are have hmm. initiatives to diversify, whether it's through race or gender. Mm -hmm. they're trying to, that's a big push with other departments. They're trying to they're trying to do that for their their departments and their their communities. And you look at it and you look at you know, well, all right, they I come to New Haven or I can go to say North Haven. And right now, North even after three years, just using them, they're they're paying one hundred and two thousand dollars. Just after three years. After three years, and and they're and they're specifically targeting, you know, people of color, black, brown, and females. So it, and roughly, in lieu of the con although this might change once the contract is resolved, roughly are we at at that same benchmark for three years at eighty thousand seventy five ninety right now currently top step officer and it takes about a, a approximately two years to get to top step we're we're around um seventy eight so you're saying a, a twenty five a twenty to thirty thousand difference correct oh interesting okay and not and not, not all of it's based on money because you know, what I find now with being on a little bit, the generation of younger people now, it's not even a money thing for them, so to speak. Sometimes it's just quality of life. They, you know, some places, you know, more time off, less less events they have to be present for, things of that Good nature. Point. Good point. Good point. Good point. So in, in conclusion, so t talk to me about what what's kept your you and your wife kind of committed. I mean, we need to lift, lift you guys up. I mean, we... we, we... So, so my wife is. We, we need wife. your unborn children to kind of join you. You need you guys got to get to get busy here and get and get so. So I think I think it starts with our family. So, you know, my my mom was you know in service all her life. It was granted mm -hmm. it was with the state, but it, it, so the dynamic is there for me. Yeah, my wife, her mom, her mom worked for the board. Has been working for the board of ed forever. Her mom's been a paraprofessional. Um, my wife is, grew up in Fairhaven. She herself, prior to to getting on the job, was a paraprofessional at Dr. Mayo. Oh, and okay. She made the career switch. So, but in terms of servicing the city, that's always been her her path. Yes, yes. Are, are you guys ever asked to kind of come out and, and speak at events? Because just in, in, again, I haven't met your wife or Amaya, but I, uh, but but just speaking to you in this short period, you guys are ever approached to with some of the community events to kind of just share. Yeah, whenever, listen, I, I I make myself available, you know, whenever anyone wants to reach out or have a conversation, if I have the time, mm -hmm. I, I, I mean, I try to fill up my calendar with a bunch of stuff between, you know, the, the, the two districts. I'm also the police union vice president. Uh -huh. um, so I have a lot, of, I have a lot on my plate and yes, I try to avail myself as much as possible. Any, and so I guess as we conclude any general comments about the, the, the contract perception and when whether we're at the ninth inning, the fifth inning, you think double hitter with um seven, it's, seven, it's, seven series, seven game series. Are we where are we? Would you say? Um, it's a it's a work in progress. Work um, in progress. We're we're trying our best. That's that's all I can okay. say. Okay.
but it, it would be helpful just in general and from the macro standpoint that we get this resolved as yes. soon as we can. Um, yes. Okay. Well, we, 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 again, we're on the same, my mantra is we're on the same team. So we got to get, we got to kind of understand what's going on there. Uh, excellent. It, uh, the the safe I'm I'm tempted to ask you the safe safest district in Haiti, but I'm not going to ask you that. I'm not going to ask you that. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Okay, I think that's it, man. You, I mean, you've answered you've answered my question. I guess I want people to get a chance because they don't always. We're encouraging folks to kind of come to the management team meetings, which have a we're taking a high hi, a hiatus yep. th this summer, and but obviously you'll you'll be back there in September. But in the meantime, I just wanted to kind of give a chance to people give people a chance to see your face and, yeah, and know, that you're, know that you're accessible and absolutely like I said my 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 work phone number 475-331-3257 it's always it's always on anyone can reach me whenever they need me and, and just repeat that one more time that's helpful 475-331-3257 excellent sergeant lamb this is good, man. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Peace on earth, goodwill to people, right? Let's make it happen. Yeah. If you need anything, you know, feel free to reach out. Excellent. I appreciate it, man. All right. Nice speaking with you. Thanks.